Moving on. We got this post. Let's talk about DSP for a little bit. Dark side fucking feel. The only content creator on the internet I absolutely hate and wish nothing but bad thing happens to him. But for some reason, he has the fucking luck of the Irish and he gets away with it for whatever reason. He's obviously still a laughing stock of the internet, fair enough, but he still gets away with it. This clip is fucking hilarious. So, to give you a bit of background, um, DSP is kind of known for like always begging on his streams, right? He's always begging his fans to give him money. Um, I need money for my day off. I need money to pay my bills. I need money for games, whatever. He's just begging for money. And he always basically cries poor. But he also makes a lot of money, right? Maybe 100000 a year or something. He gets loads of money from tips and stuff. He just doesn't balance his bills well. And he has a oh, addiction to fucking gambling. He's addicted to some like mobile game called WWE Champions. But he lies and pretends that he doesn't play the game. So people like myself who don't like the guy continually like, you know, point out the fact that he's lying, expose his fucking bullshit and stuff. And he just basically pretends like it never happens and bans anybody that kind of speaks badly about him in the chat. Anyways, he complains about money all the time, but he seems to have a weird addiction to always ordering loads of food online, door dashing himself food. So he thinks somebody that is unable to pay their bills, can't buy groceries, bloody blah, 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 would be a little bit careful about spending money on that delivery service food, but he doesn't. But the thing with DSP that's funny is that he always finds a way to expose himself. Like if you, if you let DSP talk long enough, he'll tell you what you need. So in this clip here, he mentions how he one day ordered McDonald's with, for he and his wife because they were craving it. And the funny thing is he mentions the McDonald's which is around the corner. But he'd rather just door dash it because it was late at night. He couldn't be bothered to quickly drive around the corner to go and pick it up and save some money. If he is allegedly broke, he decided to order it. And obviously the chat kind of pointed it out and kind of called him out on it. And he started getting angry and banning people. But watch the clip anyway. I think it's absolutely hilarious, this clip. DSP is a piece of shit. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the but, uh, yeah. So good stuff there. What do we eat? Because a lot of people want to know, what do we eat on our day off when we actually go out and eat rather than cook at home? Um, we got Mexican food. We went to the Mexican restaurant. Also, that's a lie, by the way. He mentions that they cook at home and eat a lot at home because um, essentially he wants to kind of act like he saves money, act like he's being frugal. But a couple of years ago, somebody managed to um, social engineer his bank account details, right? Um, I don't know how they did it, but they fucking found out a way to get his bank statements. And basically, his bank statements were fucking littered littered with fucking itunes purchases like obviously mobile game mobile gaming and gambling and in-app purchases and stuff but also it was littered with fucking orders from doordash littered he orders doordash basically every single day but he pretends like he cooks at home every single day so this is the kind of laugh that he does that we absolutely enjoy going to all the time uh but haven't been to in a long time it's kind of weird because covid really did change things you know, there's places we used to go all the time we don't go to anymore. There's things we used to do all the time that we just don't do. It just kind of throws your routines off. And there was this one Mexican restaurant we absolutely love going to in person, sitting down and eating. And then during COVID, you couldn't do that anymore. So we started ordering delivery. As you know, we usually like either once a week we order out if we're staying home. Or Lies! We go out if uh, it's, uh, you know, we happen to be going out for that day. And... We started ordering from this place during COVID. Yo, and big up. Maybe once or twice. Big up. So we ordered the Hipster food. Handyman for the four ninety nine super chat. Appreciate you. No message on there, but I appreciate you anyway, Hipster Handyman. Big up you, HH. Amazing. And then all of a sudden, they started delivering from a different franchise location. <clears throat> Which makes no sense because the one that, that they we go to and they typically order, we, we would order from or want from, to order from, um, was closer. But I guess what happens with these delivery services, I guess they check availability, they see how busy a restaurant is, and sometimes if there's a slower version, it's the same restaurant you'll get. Also, to make a point on this, DSP is really strange. He has a beef, right, with, like, DoorDash people not, like, anyway, let me just put this out there, so I don't know if you guys are the same. So DSP does this thing where when he orders from DoorDash, sometimes he order breakfast. So he's one of these fucking freaks that orders, like, scrambled eggs and toast and shit from, like, a cafe around the corner. Instead of making food himself, making a couple of eggs, he rather orders it. Don't get me wrong. I've ordered breakfast from time to time when I'm hungover, but he does it on a regular basis. But for some reason, he's the kind of DoorDash 
like delivery food person orderer who gets their order timed. I don't know if you do that. I don't. Whenever I'm hungry and I want to look at the app, I just order it. And whenever it comes, it comes. But he wants it to be arriving at a certain time. So he'll put like, oh, I want breakfast. You order it ahead of time. And he wants it delivered at 11 a.m. But if they, if, they, if they deliver it at 9 or at 10, he gets pissed off because he might be sleeping. And it might be left outside and it's cold and shit. Like, he gets annoyed at that sort of stuff. Like, it's like, dude, if, you, if you're going to get annoyed at them delivering your order two hours earlier, maybe just make some eggs yourself in the morning. What an absolute redact. Food from a day. This has happened with, like, even McDonald's, where <laughs> it'll be nighttime. You're craving something. Man, I'm really craving a McDonald's cheeseburger. Let's just toss in a quick order. And this is rare. Maybe once a year we'll do something like this. And we're like, let's just put, put an order in. Now, there's a McDonald's right around the corner that's really good. So, we place the order. Oh, they decided to, to deliver from McDonald's from downtown, which is shitty. And the food shows up, and it's messed up, and it's cold, and it's dry, and it's disgusting. And we're like, well, we... It's fucking McDonald's, really. I know what he means. There are some McDonald's that are better than others. I have some in my area where I'd prefer to have it delivered from a certain location. But it's not that big of a deal. He's acting as if, like... The quality standards are like crazy. Oh, this particular one, they have this chef in there that cooks a double cheeseburgers in a particular way. It's like, relax, dude, relax. I don't want McDonald's from downtown. I want a McDonald's from around the corner. Why do they deliver from downtown when both are open? I don't know. These delivery services, sadly, you don't get to kind of choose where you want stuff delivered from, which kind of sucks. Um, and that's what And by the way, whenever he's doing that, that's a real talent of the DSPs. That's a talent. Whenever you see him doing this, leaning in like this, he's banning somebody. They call it lean in manual ban. So he's able to somehow, I, I couldn't do it. Cause sometimes I get, I lose my train of thought when I'm looking at the chat here. He can somehow talk and then notice something in the chat, continue talking and ban the person as he's still talking. It's fucking crazy. Look, look, look where he does it. Look. Where you want stuff delivered from. He noticed something. kind of sucks. He's still talking. Um, and that's what happened. He bans is him. We were snort. essentially in a situation <laughs> where we were ordering from this place for a while during COVID, and then we stopped ordering because they kept delivering from the other place that sucked. Okay? I mean, night and day. For example, we ordered from one, and it would come in a big, nice plastic container that was all, you know, safe, all your ingredients separated, beautiful. <laughs> they, ordered from the, like, they delivered from the other one. Oh, it's in foil. Everything is smashed together and disgusting and messed up in transit. And it's like, wow. Really bad, this, right? This nigga expects them to deliver it in a fucking helicopter or something, isn't it? What a fucking awful human being. That's the thing as well. DSP is a good example for me of why I don't think karma exists. Because he's actually a terrible human being. Like a terrible, terrible human being. He deserves nothing in this life. But he's able to get away with it. And I think because that whole idea about fucking karma and shit doesn't exist. There's no such thing. I think there's a quote in Ozarks where at the end of one of the seasons, the lady goes like, oh, like sometimes bad people get away with it. And it's not sometimes, it's a lot of times. A lot of times bad people don't, you know, aren't restlessly sleeping at night. They sleep like fucking babies. They die of, of old age, no illnesses, perfectly fine health. That's what happens. I think the idea of like karma is not true in the slightest. Sometimes bad shit happens to bad people, but sometimes bad shit happens to good people also. Like really bad quality. So since we stopped ordering, we've been craving this place, and we went there in person and had a nice meal there. Um, I got well, actually we each got a big burrito. Yeah, my wife got a burrito that was a, a chicken, and I actually got so since I'm not eating red meat this week, this is like my one day out to treat myself. <laughs> I got a burrito. Treat myself. You know what's funny? Treat myself. Treat myself. He sounds like somebody, but Kreischer. There's something about like adult males that somehow have like an infantile and so almost immature perspective on life where they talk about treats and stuff, rewards. It's so bizarre. I've never heard another person in real life who says that. It's always these kind of like, you know, arrested development type of dudes. Like DSP, he's like 41, he, but he looks 60, but then he acts 21 or 19. Same with Burt Kreischer, do you know what I mean? Like that weird fucking verbiage, treats, treats. <laughs> that had uh, Mexican chili in it. Now, Mexican chili can either be made with beef or pork. Well, this burrito does Rocking. half and half, so I had half beef. And also, do you notice how much he rocks in his, in his chair? He's always fucking swaying. 
Lord Half of the fucking chili sway. in a burrito. Oh my god. Insanely good. Lord of the fucking Ridiculously sway. Ridiculously over the top. <laughs> Crazy good. Lord of the sway all the time. Absolutely loved it. So, we had a good meal out. And, yeah. uh, you know, obviously, got haircuts. I ended up getting a new hairbrush. The, the hairbrush that I had been using, I've been using for like two to three years. It doesn't matter, brother. Your hairline is like... His hairline looks like the fucking River Nile. It's fucking all over the fucking gaff, mate. Fucking hell, look at that. <laughs> I got it like during... I want to say I got it like early 2021 or something like that. At a, at a you know, one of those stores where you buy things cheap and the hairbrush was never good. And it was... Yeah, if you want to talk about DSP's age, yeah. DSP's 41 years old. This man is 41 years of age. Look at those snort sacks. Look at that face. He's so fucking ugly, man. The head shape is fucking bizarre. But DSP is actually... You know what he is, actually? I think about it. You know that meme or that 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 article that came out recently? Um, I think they did one about a woman. But somebody made like a design, and a, a, um, a computer-generated design of what somebody would look like who doesn't go outside. Like a gamer person, right? That DSP kind of looks like that kind of person. Like if you if you decided to spend your entire time indoors, never went on holiday, never went outside, um, was a complete shut-in and a recluse, this is what you'd look like. You'd have this sickly white pale skin. You'd look awful. You'd have headphone hair. Your hair would be over the place. You just like age terribly from staring at the screen, you know, 12 hours a day, every single day. That's kind of what he looks like. He's a quintessential like, you know, um, warning symbol that you need for streaming too much and begging too much. <laughs> it was breaking and I was using it, it was falling apart. There was actually chunks of wood coming off the brush. I said, I guess I need a new one. So I bought a new hairbrush and, you know, just various things. Nothing special. But like I said, we did start planning and preparing for this upcoming marathon event, which was good. So There's something weird about people like that, right? So he wastes money on loads of shit. He gambles all the time. He makes a lot of money. But then he wears T-shirts he's had for like 17 years. He doesn't buy a new brush, even though it's probably like $5. What is it about people like that? Is that like a, is that like a form of like... Is that, is that a mental illness? Yay, big up Austin Casey. Appreciate it, brother. I agree on the treat myself thing. I had a co-worker that would always say it was a gift to myself, which is redacted. Bro, just say you bought something. Yeah, it's very strange. You know what? Like, part of me thinks, to be honest, part of me thinks, big up Austin Casey. Appreciate it with the $10. Part of me thinks it's kind of like, it's kind of sad to say this, but I think it's like a childhood trauma thing. Maybe. Maybe if you're younger and you never felt like you were given gifts and treats, you try and like replicate that when you're old and you have money, right? Because I remember once seeing that thing, um, you see a lot with like athletes who grow up really poor, especially black ones. They were like, oh, I was never able to have like this particular brand of cereal. Then they get signed and become professional athletes and they just fill their kitchen up with like loads of the fucking cereal on tap. Because it was, it, to them at that point, because to them it's always been like a form of like luxury because they couldn't afford it when they were younger. So maybe that whole like treats, rewarding myself thing is because when you were younger you were never basically acknowledged in that way and now that you have the means to do it you kind of want to spoil yourself so it's kind of sad really to be fair it's a little bit a little bit dark really when you think about it but big up austin casey no that's really it nothing too crazy because everyone asks you know what did you do on your day off it's funny because we already got people being stupid in the chat like for example two idiots i, I mean idiots say well if the McDonald's right around the corner, why don't you just drive there and pick it up to save money? I literally just said at night, late at night. You know what's really funny? He's like, he's like Barrage, he's, but, but, you know, again, attacking his fucking fans. I've heard it. I don't know if it's true because um, we have delivery and Uber Eats here in London or in the UK. And for the most part, they usually don't increase. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, if I think about it properly, I don't think most restaurants increase the price of the items. It's more so the delivery charge. But the delivery charge isn't that much. Usually like £1.99 or sometimes free. But you're obviously having to pay for it. Or you always a minimum order. But I know in America I've heard that DoorDash menu prices are way more expensive than what it's going to be if you go to the store yourself. So if, if a McDonald's burger was like $1.50, on DoorDash it's like $2.50. So sometimes if the restaurant is around the corner and they've got a drive through it's better off just jumping in your car quickly with your slippers and going to go pick it up. Because you're going to save yourself like $20 or something, which is a big, a lot, which is a big amount, especially if you're not going to tip somebody. So it's funny that he would say this because he cries poor. He's the person that says I can't buy groceries, can't pay his bills, but then he's happy to spend $50 plus on a fucking McDonald's order around the corner. He can just pick up himself. 
Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, people are saying, yeah, McDonald's is like $25 more in the US. Wow. With delivery. Fucking hell. $25 for McDonald's is fucking insane. At fucking night. You know, it's like 11 p.m. or something you want to snack. No, I'm not going to throw clothes on, put on my fucking shoes and sneakers and drive out to McDonald's. That's the convenience of ordering. But again, people have to nitpick every... <laughs> you see what... You know why he's getting angry? He's getting angry because he does what he normally does. He inadvertently revealed some stuff about his life that he didn't want to reveal. Now everyone knows and he's pissed off. That's what he's pissed off about because people, like I said, the internet never... Um, is never wrong. Everybody in internet is right because if you watch somebody's content long enough, you can gauge what they're like as a person. And usually, if somebody talks long enough in front of camera, you're going to slip up and say something that you don't mean to say because you're speaking for a long amount of time to fucking strangers or to yourself like I am. So that, that's what he's annoyed about, that he just gave up some information that he didn't mean to give up inadvertently. Everything I say to try to say, why'd you do it wrong? Well, fuck you. I didn't do it wrong. It's something a normal person would fucking do. And once a year you crave something, you order out. It's 11 at night, you stupid idiot. Crave. Crave treats. Look at calling his fans stupid idiots. I love it. Craving treats like such a fucking infant. Jesus Christ. I, you know, it really is ridiculous how anytime I say something, it's like, we got to nitpick it and make Phil look stupid. No, you're the stupid one because you're a fucking jackass and you try to make me look bad at every second. Just shut the fuck up. Okay. Just like this other person here who said, <laughs> uh... Actually, I don't know. It went away around, so good. I'm just gonna ignore it now. Try not to get triggered by fucking idiots in my chat trying to be stupid. Like literally. <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> anyway, fuck Dark Side Phil. Fuck fucking Dark Side Phil. Detractors, keep your fucking foot on his neck. He's a fucking relaxing awful.